Hey, what is going on, guys? It is me, Pro FK Guy, and uh, here's the Pokemon Showdown video I was talking about. I know I didn't upload yesterday; it's just because I got home and I was tired, and I didn't really feel like uploading. But yeah, um, it's gonna be a little bit different of a video. I'm gonna be talking about what's going on instead of like a subject. Uh, let's go ahead and start off. Pillow Swine, he is such a tank that he takes a solar beam and ends up taking him out with Icicle Crash. But sadly, Pillow Swine dies. Sadly. Because Pillow Swine, I mean, look at him. Like, if you saw him, like, he's just, he's just like this little thingy. He, he, freaking Nickturn almost takes me out of, re, like, V Create. But I go in for a Brave Bird, hit it, but Recoil ends up taking me out because, you know, slamming your body against another person's body, you're gonna end up getting hurt, anyways. Now here he goes into Volpe, and here's the tank of the team right here, Shellos. Now, he doesn't show his true strength right now because Volpe doesn't, like, take that much damage from Ice-type moves. But you'll see Shellos freaking go into his prime in just a second. Now here he goes into Jolteon, which, um, luckily I got the switch, uh, right here into Deoxys. Right about, yeah, right now, um, there he is, Deoxys, and he almost takes me out with a Charge Beam. Luckily, I just had a little bit of health left, or I guess like, you know, 30% health, uh, and I take him out with Psycho Boost, which is, uh, I don't know, Psycho Boost is just a really good, really good move, and then he goes in Chandelier, which is Ghost type, and I go for a Psycho Boost, get him really low on health, but, uh, he ends up taking me out with the Shadow Ball. He could really use, like, any type of move, and, like, I would have gotten taken out, because I was so low on health. Smurgle here, uh, I go for, I didn't, his move set. I didn't know any of the moves in it, so here I'm just kind of clicking on stuff, seeing what's going to happen, and he goes for a hidden power, and you'll see I go for a whirlwind, I think, yeah, and then he, he searches into Dratina, or whatever, Gratina, whatever you want to call him, uh, and uh, he takes me out, so that was just kind of a, it wasn't really like a bad move, because I didn't really know any of the moves there. If I did, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have gone into him. And here we just kind of have like an awkward moment where we're just kind of sitting there not doing anything because Heracross just happens to be asleep. And here we go. Shellos with his freaking hairdo that he has. I don't know what that is on the top of his head, but it looks like an afro type thing. He almost takes me out with Shadow Ball, but here goes freaking him going for an Ice Beam. Super effective, but freaking Gratina is such a defensive tank that it barely does any damage. And luckily, here's why he's such a tank, because one, he has Toxic, two, he has Recover, and three, he has Ice Beam. That is like the main thing. If I didn't have those three moves, then, well, I, well Ice Beam isn't really that important, but if I didn't have like those moves, then this game would have been over, especially, Recover is probably like one of like the most important ones. That and Toxic. Recover, then Toxic, then Ice Beam. But yeah, um, you'll see I just Toxic all of his Pokemon throughout this, and I just completely like recover stall him and here I think he ends up switching out because he gets so low on health either that or it's his next turn mm, yep here we go and he goes into his vol beat again which he knows barely does I can do I can't do any damage to him and he can't do any damage to me so he goes for a bug buzz barely does any damage I go for a toxic and here we go my master plan you know second round of my master plan basically he goes for a Bug Buzz, I go for an Ice Beam, once I get low enough health, then I go for a Recover, and we just kind of wait it out and hope Toxic does its thing with a couple Ice Beams in there. Here he goes for a Bug Buzz again, I go for an Ice Beam, and then I believe he goes for one more Bug Buzz, and I go for a Recover. Either, yeah, Bug Buzz, then I go for a Recover, and the Toxic ends up taking him out. And then he's down to his last two Pokemon, Chandelier and Gratina, or Dratina, I don't, I don't know how to say it, um, Chandelier right here, goes for Hidden Power, doesn't do, like, any damage, I go for Toxic, and round three of my master plan right here, um, I, like, it's, <laughs> I'm just so surprised, because, I mean, look, look, like, especially, like, Gratina, like, it's such, like, an awesome looking Pokemon, and then this, like, little slug thing comes in here, and just, like takes out his team it's just, it, it's just kind of funny to me and right here once again he goes for you know whatever move doesn't matter he's so low on health i get to take him out with an ice beam even though 
it, it barely does any damage. Like, if he had, like, 13% health, he'd probably have 1%, because it only does, like, 12 damage. And Gratina right here. Here's, this, is, this is basically the end. I go for a recover. And then I go for an Ice Beam, and I end up taking him out. Shellos is beast. I want to. I wouldn't actually catch him. Maybe just I kind of look at him because I mean he's cute. Yeah, look at him. Except he looks a little bit angry. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I definitely enjoyed making this video, and uh, be expecting lots.